It's another weekend and you already know what that means. It definitely means it is time for a social diary program, Metro Files. So this is a time I'd say find a comfortable spot, relax, and let's help you get that stress of the week out of your body. As always, it's going to be celebration all the way. We have one wedding, birthdays, and of course, a celebration of life on today's edition of Metro File. Thanks a lot for joining us. Please watch out for flash photography. I'm Anne Mwawadu. Welcome to the program. Well, they say right in the middle of an ordinary life, love gives us a fairy tale. And it's that amazing moment that friends and well-wishers have come together to witness at the union between the daughter of Taraba State Governor Mary Ishaku and her sweetheart, Efosa Igbinosu. For anyone familiar with the political divides in Nigeria, we'll by now know that politicians and their supporters come together as a united front when it comes to weddings. Dignitaries from all walks of life, including the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, who represented President Muhammad Buhari at the occasion, governors of Bayelsa, Delta, Adamawa and representatives of their counterparts from Plateau, Edo, among several other governors at the Cathedral Church of the Advent of the Anglican Communion in Abuja to witness the solemnization ceremony between the daughter of Taraba State Governor Mary Ishaku and Mr. Ifosa Igbinosum. Taraba State Deputy Governor Harun Amanu, ministers, National Assembly members, captains of industries, traditional rulers, former governors, PDP National Chairman Yosha Ayu, wife of presidential candidate Titi Atiku, wives of governors and clergymen were also present as Governor Ishaku walks down the aisle to give his daughter's hand in marriage. I, Darius Dixon Sherwood, the father of Mary, thereby gives Mary a hand in marriage. Until we are parted. Until we are parted. By death. By death. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. The primate of the Anglican Communion, the Most Reverend Henry Ndukuba, pronounced them husband and wife after taking their marital vows with the exchange of rings, the symbol of love and faithfulness. Father, Father, Son, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In her sermon, Reverend Foreman Nedison admonished the newly married couple to always allow God's concept lead in their marriage to avoid marital crisis. He however warned against divorce which can be likened to marital amputation while admonishing the new couple to make their union honorable through openness and all-round transparency. The reason many marriages are failing today is because most people despise the concept of God and embrace the concept of man. That's why we are seeing failure in many marriages today.
songs of praise filled the air and the newly married were presented as the new couple. And uh, what we've witnessed today is a promise fulfilled. Therefore, my wish for the couple is that uh, they should put God first, above all, then all things be good for them. The chief of staff to the president, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, the political elite, family and friends continue to defy party and religious differences to celebrate the new couple at the reception. The couple, their parents and relations all walked in with some dance steps to thrill the audience. Chairman and chairperson of the occasion, Yocha Ayu and Titi Abubakar, encouraged the newly wedded couple on their new journey. The best we can do in this gathering is to wish Mr. and Mrs. Ephosa Ibinison a very, very successful marriage. You are in safe hands. There is no austerity in our home. Ephosa, you are a blessed child and you continue to be blessed. Several more words of support came from other dignitaries at the ceremonies, including the representative of the president. One, the marriage is a good thing. Two, that there should be one. And the last one is that divorce should be, should not be an option. It's all about understanding. They should be able to live with them. That's what I can say. From the Taraba Art Council to the Benin dancers, the cultural mix of the new couple held sway. For both of them to learn to know one another more intimately and get to understand and forgive one another. That is the best way for them to uh, become one. I know that the God that raised up Ephosa will enable Ephosa also raise up his own family to his glory. Is wishing the newly wedded couple a blessed home. We wish them all the love they can get.